And now, coming to you live. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody, let's sing along. Hi there. My name is Roland Sandberg, and I tune in all the way here in Finland, Europe. Lots of greetings from Finland. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Talking Tunes. I'm your announcer, Kitty Litter. Now it's time to talk to the loon tunes of Talking Tunes. Here they are, the Talking Tunes crew. 91X, FAMA, Baja California, Mexico. Welcome to Talking Tunes 2020. Time now for Talkin' Tunes on 100.9 FM. Talkin' Tunes, a weekly roundtable discussion on music, radio, entertainment, television, nothing too serious, just light and lively chatter with your host, Oscar Osbo. Marty Allen to win, please. Marty, this is for $500. True or false, rubbing grapefruits on your body makes you sexy. <laughs> Who's grapefruits? <laughs> Okay, this week's editorial brought to you by the G-Man. The date, March 21st. This editorial is my opinion, my opinion only. The first editorial, we were talking just in the studio before the show. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, there was a bad storm, and I was driving down. And this is going out to Joe Public on what would you do in this situation. And I was driving, and because um, I was, you know, clueless on this, like I'm clueless on most issues. <laughs> but um, I'm driving down in the corner of Sherman and Lincoln, and there's a guy standing out in a blizzard with a sign saying, Please help me. I have children. I need food. Please help me. God bless you. He was out in front of um, Famous Recipe Chicken last night at the corner of Henry and, and Sherman. That guy. Yeah. yeah. That guy. Okay. So it's winter, it's cold, the violins are playing, and I'm curious. All right, so I turned back around and by a store, and just to talk to the people, said, do you know this guy is this guy for real? And they said, well, we've seen him exactly the corner that you said, John. What would you do if you saw someone out there with a sign saying that they needed food for their children? Would you stop and give them food? Did you see that thing on hard copy last week about that town in, in South Carolina where these where the whole bunch of these people live and, and live in oh in yeah huge, in huge mansions in and drive Rolls Royce oh, yeah. yeah. and they go out and, on field trips like that and, and that's that's and exactly they, they, that's exactly what they do that's well, exactly what I was, I was telling gonna, you when about when I saw well. that guy last night I was going to stop by and see if he had a southern accent. Well, yeah, and, <laughs> and, you know, and that's and that's my, my point is is that you know, would you help the guy or would you tell the guy to get a job? Or I was pretty, kind, you know, it's kind of a hard question there. You know, it's now, interesting. I haven't seen this guy now. Is this guy like missing any limbs or in a wheelchair? Or no, anything? no, no, no. Just, uh, this is Greg you Vittorio, right? Yeah, you could you could have you could have went out there, so, Brian. So a couple where did all these other people come from? <laughs> What's the point of this editorial? The point of this editorial, number one, is for Joe Public, what would you do? So it's, it is open for discussion. You know what I think is a good way to sometimes tell is... is no, I no, know. man. you oh. got to take a point of view here. Yeah, it's <laughs> what an editorial is. Take He's a point of view, Greg. <coughs> My point of view? What would you do? Well, he turned around. I turned around. But what did you do to if you did that? Did you the flap, the flash of the bird or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Let them run like, them over. No, no, no. 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 Drove no. through no. the big mud pile. Oh, no, wait, well, let's no. listen. What did you do? <laughs> okay, Three Stooges. Okay. Very <laughs> yeah. cool. What I did was I actually turned around to investigate the situation after found, finding out that this guy was basically kind of a con artist. Uh, I left. But, hey, if that's a tough decision. It's cold. Yeah. It's outside. You know, what would you do? Well, that's I tell you, question. if you give them food or something like that, many times you'll find that that's not good enough because it's the money they're after to either buy booze or drugs or that's to right. get rich yeah. from. Coming, so from, you, coming from the New York and Toronto. Yeah. the other hand, exactly. boys yeah, and girls. Yeah, but what if they wanted, ago. you know, if this guy was really hurting and, they, you know, you throw him a can of lima beans. So that was a question. Like, it was yeah. just a question. It was out there for yeah. Six months ago, outside one of our local industries, there was a guy with a sign that said he needed a job, and the person who owned that business came out and gave him a job. He didn't show up, did he? Yes, he did. For how long? He's how many still days? working there. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. 
Well, good. There, there goes my uh, cynicism right out the okay. window. Well, yeah, so but the, one yeah, works. But that's a little bit different. If you're if you're willing to take a job, you're not asking for a handout. You're ac- you're actually willing to work for what you're going to get. Yeah, I mean, this guy didn't. Let, let, let I saw last night, and, and obviously Greg saw the same guy. He didn't have a sign that said, "I will work for food." It well, just said, you know, "Give me food." I give know. me okay. food. Uh, well, it basically said, "Have children, have needs, please help, God bless," or something like yeah. that. Yeah, you know. But well, you know, hey, you know, guys aren't even willing to work for it. I mean, come on. I, I, I mean, he's out there working. I have around. needs too, but I don't advertise them on our side. That's <laughs> not. Well, that's the sign of the billboard I saw there, Bill, <laughs> down, down yeah, the road. You yeah, got needs, all right, then. Call. This is, this is high-tech, high-tech begging. <laughs> <laughs> I think Greg had another point. No, we, okay, we'll, we'll let him get the point, but the, the weather point I was, I was telling to Greg is that I, I remember growing up in the Detroit area, going to Tiger Stadium all the time, and there was always people out there that were playing guitars and uh, doing whatever else, asking for money. <laughs> They're still there. Yeah, yeah, and they, had, and they made good money because uh, I, I saw the, the one guy that was playing the guitar that was kind of dressed up kind of raggedy and uh, everything else. the Detroit Tigers. Yeah. And, and he, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably make they probably make more money than the Tigers. Yeah, but he, he drove away in his Cadillac. Deservedly so, so. anyway, <laughs> Oop, we got to go inside. It's game time. That's right. <laughs> or, got box <laughs> tickets. But I yeah. guess if they're doing something, you know, like like entertaining yeah. or yeah, something, that's a little different. I don't have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. But just just begging. Another sign, just uh, just uh, if you. That's Sorry. just food for thought. G man's in the house. Hey, no, I got my G man fix this morning. <laughs> Big old bear hug. That's what I'm talking. About. And he ha- he was bear. Huh. Oh, ooh. Uh, that's a scary, that's yeah. a scary thought and sight. No, it was thought lovely. Inside, yeah. Quite okay. Lovely. Talking tunes, I'm Oscar Oswald here at the net. We have the G-Man in the house. Uh, Wendy is here. And, of course, over at Thunderbolt, Jim, we have John <laughs> Flex Your Pecs Van Wyk. <laughs> don't, hey, don't, don't mention anything about my zipper either. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh we wouldn't think of it, John. Yeah. How's your prostate, by the way? I found it. Uh, and we have well, a course. At least I found it on an anatomical map the other day, so I know at least I know where it is now. Oh, well, I John, think you better, you better out the window. get it back. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we have Bill Eddings over there, the Chronicle guy. Hi there. And Brian Worsham, who is uh, the West Michigan web designs guy, J- slash JC, slash I, I, I hit my face against the beer bottle. lightweight champion. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Okay. And we're getting all pumped up here at Thunderbolt Gym in Whitehall, 614 East Colby. Hey, John. What? Oh. Um, have him work uh, uh, real extensively with Brian. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, next hey, Greg, you ought to talk. I see. You're too embarrassed to come up here. Hey, how's your prospect, John? How <laughs> do you get on one of these treadmills with me, pal? At least, when, at least when we all stand up, you can see our belt buckle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? You're the one with the zipper that's broken, and you still can't see what's down there, buddy. Well, so don't, don't go there with me. Look through that a plus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least so I can see back what I said out. <laughs> it's already that's started. been debated. It's already that's started. been it's debated. Over. I think we should uh, tell people they got some tremendous equipment up here. This yeah. is a great setup. Now is Brenda there with you? Yes, yeah, she is. she's right at the front counter right now. Okay. How about Lynn and Nick? They're not here yet, but they're on their way. Okay. Um, now, uh, Brenda Rogers went and saw her yesterday and uh, went setting the equipment up, and she said, I'll be there at 7.30. Now, she wasn't there, was she, John? Well, she was real well, close. Real close. She was she real close. close. We were early. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so much for your, those guys are never early. Uh, uh, huh? She told us what you said. We heard about the caveat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the caveat. Oh. Nothing escapes us. <laughs> Nothing escapes you, Bill. Uh, uh, the boat. O- only thing that escapes escapes from John is something out of his pants. But anyway, we now <laughs> I got it contained. Thank we, you. Very we much. got we got to explain that. I have you, it contained. You went to McDonald's to go to the, to go to the uh, to the uh, facilities and get some coffee. Uh huh. He got so excited about this coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good coffee, but <laughs> however, you broke the zipper right, in well, your pants. Yeah, my forearm muscles like twitched when I was pulling my zipper down, and it broke off. <laughs> <laughs> How many times did it twitch, John? And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there goes the family audience. <laughs> there goes the family. Yeah, really. I uh, want to let you know, too, that uh, this, this will be kind of exciting. Next week, of course, we'll be over at uh, uh, Cinema Carousel with Ron Van Timmeren, Executive Vice President. And, of course, I, I invited Paul Beatty to join us to ride the carousel. So and that, Greg's going to do the carousel marathon, right? Yeah, I think so. H- him and Paul Carousel-a-thon. Beatty. Carousel-a-thon. And him. I will be in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Okay. with Not with Paul Beatty. Uh, he hasn't talked to me. <laughs> Can you blame him? He's surprising him? you. 
<laughs> okay, so now uh, uh, we'll, we've got Thunderbolt Jim. We've got some giveaways over there. Now, have you seen the Cinema Carousel tickets yet? Yes, we have. We found them. Okay, so what we'll do is the first... Uh, well, we've got about, what, five or six there? I, we, I tell you, the first five people that come in, we'll give them a pass for two to Cinema Carousel. If they stop over at Thunderbolt Gym right on Colby Street there yeah, they in Whitehall. Can, they can register when they come in. They can re register all day long. They're going to be doing a drawing for a free month's membership, too. What's okay. All you've got to do is just come in, fill out your name and address, and uh, put your name in the fishbowl uh, or in the uh, mason jar up there. Okay, fill the $49 uh, value. Yep. And uh, be eligible for a free month membership here. Put my name down, will you? And John, I just want yeah, you to know, I just look and I can see my belt buckle. Oh, Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Now, now, when they get Let's those, I'll pick on, and, on him and, too until and, later. And a map to get to Whitehall. <laughs> when, when they get those tickets, when they get those those, those cinema carousel tickets, all they got to do is come in and say, "I'll pump you up." Okay. Do they have to say it like that? Oh, no, more, a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more like Arnold if they can. I'll oh, pump you up. So, ah, something like it, anyway. <laughs> what about what a weather? Suggesting that. <laughs> now, speaking of pump you up, hi, Annette. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, we have G-Man live here now. It's not not a tape. He's really here. I'm really here. <clears throat> so, uh, did he have an did editorial? He, did he walk up the stairs under his own power, or did somebody <laughs> have to help him? Well, I heard a couple of huffs and puffs on the way up. But, you know. <laughs> he's just a coffee break. Yeah, he's having a little problem with those chicken ankles. Yeah. <laughs> hey, John, how's the Scotch-O-Matic machine up there? Uh, not bad. <laughs> uh, I didn't I didn't go far enough downtown Whitehall to see if Todd was open yet, but... Uh... <laughs> Well, you know, it's it's kind of nice to have the G-Man back in the house just so you guys can pick on him. He can pick back now, you know, so that's good. Before we yeah, just pick it on him. Back. Yeah, I know. Before, that. Before that, the last you guys... couple weeks, has been pick on Greg, and he couldn't pick back. That's uh -oh. right. Yeah. Uh, it's just nice to have him back in the house because it's nice to have him back in the house. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> yeah. It's because you're not here, what you, Bill. That isn't what you said last week, Bill. <laughs> sounds like a group hug coming up. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Flashback! Why is the booby bird called the booby bird? Because <laughs> it has big feet. <laughs> That's what he's got to have in my bedroom. Is that great? Yeah, can I come over? <laughs> oh, it's, it's great, isn't it? Isn't it something? Okay, we're here with the one and only, <laughs> Mr. Only, Scott <laughs> Rosma. <laughs> Such as it is. Morning, <laughs> Scott. <laughs> I think we should talk in the Superman, like the superhero voice. You know, you ought to you'd be real surprised. This is the entire theme of the show that was never played on the air. Oh, you'd really? Be surprised at the guitar rift in the middle of this. Oh, so, oh, so we got we got to wait for the guitar riff. Oh, it rocks. Yeah, it rocks. <laughs> it does. <laughs> this this com this comic song rocks. <laughs> Some heavy duty uh, trumpets and everything going in there. Oh, here we go. Oh, crank it, baby. Hey, yeah, great. Oh, we're rocking today, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Okay. Wonder Woman would be jamming So, so what, 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 what <laughs> one is this to? What was that to? That was the original Super Friends theme. Yep. But it's, it was the entire theme that was written by, uh, uh, what was his name? Um... Hoyt Curtin was his name. And he, <laughs> I thought you were going to say Hoyt Axton there. No, no, no. <laughs> Could have been. Yeah. Now, Hoyt Curtin was a, uh, a, a producer, a music producer for all of the Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Super Friends and Johnny Quest and Super and Space Ghost and all that. Super Freak. <laughs> Super <laughs> Freak, yeah. Freak. Well, yeah, Rick James wrote a couple of comic uh, things. Here. Okay, <laughs> Scott, before before we tell everybody who you are, and because I know a lot of people already know, but uh, we're going to go to the phone because we might have an answer here, guys, over there at Thunderbolt Gym. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Hello? Okay, go, go ahead. What's your answer? That's one. Uh, you're, you're real, real hard to hear you. Can you can you speak up a little bit? Okay. Yeah, that's two. No, no, no. You're close. But you got two. Got two. Got to figure out the last one. What do you think, guys? That was. I awful. think that's two out of three. That's, that's two out of awful. three. That's awful close. I know. Come on. Well, if somebody knows all three. Yeah, but he just gave him two. <laughs> okay, Lou yeah, Ferrigno. Was, was yeah, but those are two easy ones. Franco Colombo. Okay, Ferrigno, of course, is the Incredible Hulk. We knew that. Um, and the third one he didn't quite get, so we're, we're not going to give it to him? Can we give him, can we, we'll give him a booby prize then, right? Booby? What? what? Oh, sure. Annette? Hey, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm 
right here. Hey, families are listening to this. Take it easy. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Nick just said it's close enough. All right, close there enough. we All go. Right. Nick, 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 gives <laughs> Nick gives it to you. So hold on line. Wendy will get you. What, what, what was your name again? Okay, you must be on like a cell phone or something because you're like real distant. But anyway, uh, congratulations and thanks for calling in. Get personal. And, uh, uh, and you're on your way into way, Thunderbolt he, Gym or what? He was obviously calling in from that, that where, uh, where? telephone company south of the uh, the King County line. Yeah. 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 If John says with the GT T-shirt on. <laughs> By the way, the one he missed was okay. Serge okay. Newbray. Newbray. Serge Newbray, Newbray. Lou Brigno, Serge Newbray, and Franco Colombo. And Greg Roberts. <laughs> uh, yeah. In your wildest dream. Yeah, okay. So he cleaned up. Cleaned up after. Then you woke up. Doing those 12 ounce curls. <laughs> but he won, he, of course, he won the month's membership. Well, he's also doing those 300 pound leg lifts. Yeah, the more you drink, the lighter it gets. And you know what? It takes a lot to maintain this body. I have you're you know I'm the number one dancer yeah, for the Chunky right Dales. Like <laughs> hey, you, you and Scott together could do a heck of a dance, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I could be in the middle. I'd be glad. I'd be nice because I'd be kind of a little guy. Oh, I don't want to get caught in the middle. The only okay. real oh, problem no. is funny. Dance floor big enough. I think. Dance floor big enough. Yeah. <laughs> or strong enough. Yeah. Strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, you're about what six three, six two, six six and a half. Six and six foot and a half. I got yeah. caught in a six, sandwich. Six, six and a half. Six, six and a half. Yeah. I got oh. caught in a sandwich dance one time between Greg Roberts and a guy by the name of Todd Peckle, and Todd's about as big as Greg. He might be bigger than Greg now. Well, actually, actually, uh, it, it bruised my ribs, and uh, I think Brian looked bad after the after his deal at the landmark. <laughs> Who's this? Is this Bill? No, this is John. I have you John. know that I am a hey, thick, Scott? stout fellow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Stout, stout. Yeah, he looks like Guinness. Stout. That's pulling it mildly. <laughs> Okay, yeah, but but it's more like a Foster's can. Oh yeah, <laughs> at least my face looks pretty nice right <laughs> oh, geez, now. Jeez, you guys are going again. <laughs> hey Scott, uh, yeah, this is Bill. Oh Bill, how you doing? Well, they're pretty good. How you doing there? Pretty good. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, uh, yeah, no doubt. I was, can't see you now either. <laughs> and lucky that you can't. <laughs> lucky been, for you. you. <laughs> by the way, if, by the way, is there a reason you're there? <laughs> oh, uh, oh yeah, actually there is. Could we hear what that is? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I was thought... trying to do that, but thank you, Bill. <laughs> Scott Roseman, of course, uh, comic genius. As far as like, the guy, the guy is excellent. I've seen some of the X Men work you did, the Batman work you did. Right. Now, what, what you, what's your what's your project right now? As far as comic books, are you working on comic books or? Well, uh, first, I, I, Bill, is yeah. there? Yeah. Uh, the only reason I'm here is my my car broke down. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you need a ride? <laughs> After I'm done here, Oscar's going to give me a ride back. Yeah. Okay. Home. No, actually, the the very latest project I'm working on is. Uh, uh, is a huge uh, Scooby Doo project of all things. All right, really? <laughs> Scooby Doo, right? Now, is this going to be for television? No, well, I, no, it'll be for the uh, it'll be for a, a giant col a series of coloring books. Oh, okay, huge series. But it's funny she's mentioning uh, television because that's another project I'm possibly working on. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, is that is that also for Scooby Doo, or is that, that for something else? No, actually, this is going to be even more exciting than Scooby Doo, and I know. It's hard to get more exciting. Now, wait a minute. I love Scooby. Scooby. Oh, I know. I mean, between I'm Daphne and can't Velma. Can't get more exciting than the Duke. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you tell us what it is? Uh, uh, well, how far does the station reach? Uh, no, almost I know it goes on the block a couple ways. About halfway to Milwaukee. All right, that's <laughs> good. <laughs> that's right in the middle of the lake. It also so, goes to Finland. It also goes to Finland, yeah. It must be a current Europe. That yeah. must be encouraging, though. Know, your signal drops off halfway through Lake Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're very big with fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, uh, y you guys might have seen my Space Ghost comic I did. Oh, yeah. You're nice. back? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah and I actually, I have some here with me today. And I'd give you one, Bill, but you're not here, so sorry. Well, actually, I, 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 show I, it actually to you. I need to talk about something, because I'm still looking for a couple of uh, prints here that I want to have framed. Oh, okay. Well, I can. You might remember those. we talked about that by, about a year ago. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right, and I just conveniently you know, forgot. The shadow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, actually, the... Uh, uh, <laughs> which, uh, which Batman issues were you involved in? Well, actually, I was involved in uh, some Batman coloring books and some special story books. You wouldn't find them in the comic book rack. Okay. So you have to find them like uh, through specialty outlets and stuff. After and for about four years there, I collected a tremendous amount of comic books, including Batman. So. Oh, no kidding! Yeah. It's got you know. For people who don't know, how did you get started in all this stuff? Anyway, when did you get started? Oh, uh, well, I professionally started around 1989 or so. So it's been almost 10 years, but I've been doing comics all my life. And I decided around late 80s or so, I was getting tired of having all the professional comics pass me by. So I said, well, enough of this. I'm going to get into it. So 
I just submitted some samples to big companies and went to conventions and eventually they looked at me and said, okay, listen, if we give you a job, would you just leave us alone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you be right? It stays off. Yeah. Is but it's actually... you had a natural ability for growing up and so forth? Yeah, I, I, always, I always seem to be drawing. I mean, uh, right around the age when kids usually kind of fade away from drawing, I was getting even more crazy with it. I mean, just crayons and markers and on the walls and on the floors. And yeah. Just never stopped and just evolved into a lifetime of doing it. Now, well, well, you know, most people, when they when they think of comics, they think of the, the character itself. But, I mean, as far as just the some of the detailed background scenes that you draw in, in, the, in the comic uh, comic books and stuff, it just it's amazes me because you got to get the... You got to be pretty much an engineer to get the, the actual uh, well, curves I've all, right. And I've always contended anybody can draw a comic book halfway decent has got to be one of the best kinds of artists. Now that doesn't mean me necessarily, but anybody who can draw a story involving characters, which means lots of expressions on faces and backgrounds that are correct looking, buildings in perspective, and cars mm -hmm. that look like cars, and it, it takes a lot. I mean, you have to literally know how to draw everything because you never know what you're going to end up drawing. Like, well, yeah. who knows? Uh, Greg might even appear in a comic I'm going to do sometime. And i got to make sure I can draw him correctly. Right. He's already got a big enough head. <laughs> uh, oh, Ooh. Hey, hey, Scott, uh, yeah, for a second, let's yeah. talk about uh, uh, comic illustration as an art form. And for th those of you who did not see Scott's exhibit at the Muskegon Museum of Art, it was truly oh. impressive. When is your next one? That was all yeah. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, yeah oh, great. But yeah, that, that that went over incredible. I mean, they, they had uh, the museum had a great turnout for it. And, well, they held it over, didn't they? No, yeah. actually, they but they did they did plan for it to run two months, which is usually a month longer than most exhibits of right. that kind. Okay. So that was that was really impressive for me. I mean, I just it blew me away. But everybody seemed to enjoy it <clears throat> quite a bit. So I was, uh, as a matter of fact, that's also something else I have here too. The uh, I have some free giveaways of the uh, poster that advertised that very show. Oh, really? Last year. Okay. Well, I want to autograph one of those for me. I'd like it personalized. <laughs> <laughs> but keep it clean, you know. Well, I'm family friend. Friend. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be extra, Bill. That'll be extra. <laughs> I, I have a question. What do you think about late night Space Coast? Okay. Space Coast, Coast to Coast? Yeah, Coast to Coast. Goofy. Goofy is all get out. Is mm -hmm. it? I, I don't mind it. It's great that the, it, it gets the Space Coast character out there in front of people. I mean, kids nowadays uh who who never even seen the original Space Ghost right. cartoon and you know love the character and know all about him. Uh -huh. But it's not the classic adventure show that I love. Okay. And that's what I'm involved in now. Okay. That's a well, secret well, Scott, special project I've been hinting at here. Oh okay. Scott, what do you think uh -huh. about South Park? I, South Park you know, I've heard all about that. I've never seen the dairy. That's because we don't yeah, get it on the Skagen cable TV. Yeah, yeah. I I I'd love <laughs> to see it. Last week was yeah. hilarious, but anyway. Those little characters look like little buttons or something. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah. not not a drawing thing, that's for sure. It's all oh computerized. My God, it's all. Again. Yeah. Again. Again, yeah. Last week, last week, got, last week, you got killed three times, I think, or what it was. But anyway. Uh, Kenny's got a hard life for a third grader. <laughs> but now, what, what about that as far as some of those comics? I mean, what do you think about that? I mean, because the, these things are just drawn by, I mean, I could draw these characters, you know. Well, it's like South Park and stuff? Yeah. Well, I, I just, it's, it's fascinating that, that somebody can take something that simple and make it go. I, that's really all part of marketing, though, really. Right. Uh, what? What's going on? What's going on out there? No, I just like that comment, something so simple and make it well, go. Well, it seems like it is. Oh, yeah. Very, very, yeah. very yeah. rudimentary. Yeah, well, Beavis and Butthead, I, that was a big, yeah. big well, success, guys, and that was very Beavis simple. Beavis and Butthead yeah. looks just yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Now, as, as far as, oh, the, but when, when people look at your art, though, I mean, as far as the, the detail, it just, it's, it's in the comic books, it's just, it's amazing. Well, that, that's the thing, is that when you have something that's, uh, when you get the, the huge difference between something like, say, as detailed as like X-Men, like what I did, and something as simple as South Park. That's just a reflection of a kind of variety. People Wolverine! Like. I mean, that's what now, does that upset you oh, at, at all as far Caesar as... claws, Greg. <laughs> does that upset you at all? Because it, when you work so hard on a project to make, make the artwork look so real and so good, and then something like South Park can, can do so well? I mean, you know, is that... Is Green that with envy. Green okay, all right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What do you think? What do you jealous. think about um, lately? They've been flooding the mark the market with all kinds of uh, cow and chicken. And <laughs> yeah, I mean they're now, really uh, bad. Now, I mean some of them cow are pretty bad, but I like Johnny they're, Bravo. I, 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 well, I must say I like Johnny Bravo. We should have talked about Johnny Bravo with this Elvis person. Oh yeah, there you go. That guy almost brought me to tears with that song. <laughs> Well, not really. I'm a man. I'm, I'm more of a man than that. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sit next to Annette. Yeah, I'm more of a man than that. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> but I like Don't disrespect too. me for that. Yeah, Greg, what's wrong with chicken boo? Chicken what? Chicken. No, cow, boo. Cow and chicken. 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 Oh, okay. Cow and chicken. No, I like chicken boo. That's just cow and chicken. 
Yeah, okay. I have no idea what you people I don't are either. talking about. That's what is it? I think a lot of you turn around. Animaniacs. Oh, is it? Okay. What Animaniacs. Is, what is chicken boo? Uh, on Animaniacs. One the, the chicken who thinks he's a human. Boo. Oh, or that, that one. He wears disguise because he made guys, but <laughs> not on me. You were chicken boo. Oh, man. Oh, okay. gee. <laughs> Is it any wonder Greg's for a break? Uh, do you think? Do you, what, what do you think about the the uh, the new adventures of Johnny Quest? Because I mean, you and I are big Johnny Quest fans. I know that. Oh, That's one thing we know, it's it's not bad. You have to understand that that whole show was uh, was is broken up into into two part two parts basically. Yeah. There's the first twenty three episodes and the second second twenty three episodes, second batch, mm -hmm. and the second batch of twenty three episodes is pretty well done. The first batch sucks. Mm -hmm. I might be so pardon my French. <laughs> <laughs> But the second half is uh, is very well done. It's not as done. It's not as well done as the first one. But at least it, I know the second half. I know the people that produced the second batch actually, and they're they're huge fans of the original show. Right. And they did all they could to bring back a lot of storylines from the original show and to continue them through and to get better voice actors and better writing right. and even a better animation company to handle it. They didn't hire Casey Kasem, did they? I, I hope not. Anyway. Uh, no, I don't think they did. <laughs> it's like well, every. It's like the Scooby Doo thing. You hear every every person a, sounds a little bit like Casey Kasem. There's yeah. a reference right out of the blue. Yeah. <laughs> Casey Kasem. What the hell is that about? <laughs> anyway, but now now who all is over at the gym right now? Is uh, that Bill Eddings? Bill Eddings, yeah, yeah. John Van Wyke and Brian Worsham, and of course We're here Brenda Rogers. Gym. Thunderbolt 14 in Kobe and Whitehall. Which one of you guys are trying to work out and get buff like say one of the X Men? That would be John in his spandex shorts. Oh, he oh, spandex shorts. Mm -hmm. Ooh, By the way, I will not be having breakfast today. Probably <laughs> <laughs> too much information. Too yeah, much information. Not enough information. Not enough. Nothing is going to be perfect coming in the morning. Nothing coming this afternoon. The high is around forty degrees, and it's bright sunshiny up here in Whitehall. We're live at Thunderbolt Gym. Stop yeah, especially the glare off his legs. <laughs> <laughs> so John, you have two strings hanging from his shirt. Oh, I'm sorry. Those are your legs. Uh, so John, uh, John, you were on, you were on the bike for a while. John, oh. John. How, 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 how long were you on the bike? Uh, half an hour. And, uh, you were pretty good well, these, these are different kind of airdynes than I'm used to, and there's it's a lot smoother ride than there's, these are belt, belt uh, Schwinn airdynes. And um, just there. Aren't they airdynes? Just there. Uh, and, and well, I'm, I'm used to riding one that's a chain-driven one. These are belt-driven ones. They're a lot smoother ride than, than the uh, ones I'm used to. Real comfortable ride. Okay. And he only rested his feet for a couple seconds. Frank, your turn. <clears throat> Marty Allen, please. For $250, Oscar Wilde once said of it, It is the perfect type of a perfect pleasure. It is exquisite, yet it leaves you unsatisfied. What was he referring to? A legitimate massage parlor. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for Talkin' Tunes. Join us again next Saturday. West Michigan, we love you. Until next week, I'm the once again employed Bambi Dickens saying, I like you. I really, really like you. T-A-L-L -L because we like you. K-T-U, you are special. N-E-S, S is for see you next week.
All right, boss, you got enough? Just enough? Are we done yet? Huh? Okay, we done yet? I mean, who's listening to this? Okay, boss, that's all she wrote for today. Bye. There you go, Oscar. Guaranteed to attract, um, nobody. There, we done? You want to pass me the alley-oop record? The loincloth, too?